All right, we got Ghost Rider 2099, zero Cochran, Cockroach, I don't know, <laughs> zero. Um, looks pretty cool. Looks like uh, the Terminator, but okay. Um, affiliations, Heroes Street Level Synthetic. Ooh. Yellow, red, blue. 13K at 270. 28 at 370. All right, all right. Peter Flow, Ghost Rider, Hundred Jones, The Hood, Honey Blaze, Bobby Reyes. Please fix the green. Um, Doctor Strange, Prowler. So, secondary is Hero, Doctor Deeds, Bobby Reyes. Okay, so wouldn't she feed Ace of Doctor Strange? Wouldn't the hood technically feed four star Ghost Rider? I mean Okay, I guess. Alright, abilities, abilities, abilities. Saw and claw, red eight AP. Let's see, let's skip through this. Select a column, then destroy that column and deal 176 damage. If the enemy has more special tiles than you, destroy another one, uh, another one random row. <laughs> you get to select the row, and then just, whoa, oh man, what is this? Prioritizing those with enemy special tiles. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. This could be a good team up. Assuming you're able to give this as a team up. For uh, countering Leapfrog. And deal another hit of 176 damage. Destroy tiles, do not deal damage or generate AP. I can't wait for somebody's ability to say deal damage and generates AP. Level 3. Deal another hit. Okay, so 270, deal another hit. So that's, it's just, the damage is just increased. So at level five, um, 270, you're dealing 2686, and then you're gonna deal another hit of 2686. Okay, at 370, 5,642, that's not bad. Um, the ability, I like it to counter Leapfrog, because boy oh boy, let me tell you, that is annoying. And fire maze defense tile. Okay, ability rage against the system. Why didn't they put against the machine? <laughs> Drain 1 AP from each of Ghost Rider 2099's weakest... Wait a minute, does that mean we're gonna get, like, Spider-Man 2099, uh, like, new costumes and stuff? And then we're gonna get, like, Hulk 2099? I know we got Miguel O'Hara, that's Spider-Man 2099, but, like... Hmm. Okay, so... Drain 1 AP... From each of Ghost Rider 2099's weakest colors, then create a three turn countdown tile that converts three AP amongst his weakest colors. His strongest colors. While this tile's on the board, allies gain a 15% damage bonus and burst heal for 130 health when they make a match for fire and ability. Oh, God. yes, more, more support for Umbaku. Um, more characters for um, an to counter, to, to hard counter, by the way. Passive Ghost Rider 2099 takes 15% less damage and deals 10% more damage if the enemy has more AP than you. Oh, wow. So, 
this one I'm putting at level 5, gain a 60% damage bonus, heal for 548, uh, low burst heal just like M'Baku, but I mean, hey, if, if you can't down the character, then I'll take burst heal all day. Uh, takes uh, Take 50% less damage, deal 50% more damage, so heal for 1000, at 370 you're healing for 2200, not bad, not bad at all. Animations are pretty awesome, as always. Or the art, excuse me. And of course they would have the three Ghost Riders. I wonder if they pair... If they have any sort of synergy. Obviously with supports, you can. You can replace some of their abilities, right? Like, with a support ability and whatnot. Like, oh, I don't want to use this black ability because... Yada, 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 so on and so forth. Whatever, right? That's a lot of synergy, but like... The Ghost Riders never really had that synergy. They all have the same uh, color abilities. Purple. Visage. This, I, this, I don't know how to say that. Uh, vengeance, whatever. Uh, purple AP cost 6. Uh, with his stealth field, Ghost Rider. It's amazing. Where is the ability? Ghost Rider 29 turns invisible for one turn. Oh god. It, and it was a counter to Leapfrog. They just gave him Leapfrog ability. <laughs> invisible for one turn. When Ghost Rider 299 makes a match or fires a power, if an enemy is higher level than him, deals 6% damage ignoring projectiles. If he is invisible, he also turns invisible. He also turns visible and stuns the target for two turns. Oh, wow. The turn of events here we got. If an enemy is higher level. So now you're going to want to start keeping your characters at a certain MMR for abilities such as this. That's, that's interesting. Keep, you know, if you ascend him to five star land, keep him at 450. Min max him when you champ him or when you ascend him and GG's. <laughs> um he deals six percent damage. If he if he makes a match or fire oh wow. Ignoring projectile. So Spider May is getting hard countered with this, I can tell. He also turns visible and stuns the target for two turns. So that's two turns stun, not bad. So, what is this, like a 3-5-5? Five, five? So, 5-3-5... Four, five, four, three, five. I don't know, but uh, invisible for five turns, deal thirteen percent damage. Oh my god, the invisibility! So you you better get your counters ready for just every invisible, this invisible, that. I mean, AOE still hits invisible characters, just not characters that get sent away. So I mean, you do have Immortal Hulk. Omega Red, stuff like that. They made this Ghost Rider pretty McNasty. This purple ability and red ability, amazing. This ability, just wow. Love it. The art, amazing. Phenomenal. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, I mean, plain and simple, he's just a good four star. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that we get to send this ability out as a team up. Just to count for Leapfrog or just any, pretty much any invisible character. Because if you don't have an AoE and you're going into a match that just, they just have straight up, hey, let me turn invisible, you, you're not doing nothing. And then the invisibility tile end up being in the bottom right or left row or something like that. Oh man, GG's, game over. But uh, yeah, as always, let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys in the next one.